Hello and welcome to our discussion on accounting. In this session we will try to understand some important accounting relationships. Here we will see receipts and payments. We will see the relationship between receipts and payment. We will try to understand different types of receipts and payments. The receipts, whenever a company receives cash, the receipts may result in increase in capital. A receipt may in result in increase in liabilities. Receipts may result in income and receipts may result in sale of assets. So it's very clearly visible that a company may receive cash for different purposes. The purpose may to raise capital, the purpose may to raise borrowings, the purpose is in the form of increasing income, the purpose may be due to disposal of assets. Let us see some examples. In this transaction, a set of transaction, the highlighted portions are the receipts. So started business with capital, it is a company is receiving money, but it is not an income, not a liability, not a reduction of asset, but increase in capital. So it's a receipt resulting in increase in capital. When company raised money by issuing bonds, it is a receipt which resulted in increase in the liabilities. When companies sold goods for cash, it is a receipt but an income. You don't have to pay that money back. When the company is selling shares, it's a reduction of asset. So receipt may result in increase in capital, may result in increase in liabilities, may result in income, may result in reduction of assets. So, a receipt may result in capital, liabilities, income or assets. So, every receipt is not an income. A receipt can take different shapes. In the same manner, every payment it may result in one of the following decrease in equity, decrease in liabilities, expenses or acquisition of asset. So it's possible that a company may make payment to pay off the liabilities. It's possible that company may pay off cash to reduce the capital to distribute a dividend which may result in decrease in equity. The payment may be due to expenses like rent paid, salary paid. The payment may result in acquisition of asset like stock or a building or a plant or shares of other companies. So, this is a set of transactions and highlighted ones are the payments. Purchase t-shirts, so it is an acquisition of asset, revenue goods or a current asset. Salary paid is a payment which is resulted in an expense, the benefit of which expires in that accounting period. Paid off loan 60%. The company makes cash outflow, but the cash outflow results in reduction in liability. When the company distributes dividends, it's a payment which results in reduction in equity because equity is equal to capital plus retained profit and when the company distributes profit, the retained profit falls. So payment may therefore result in decrease in equity through buyback or dividend distribution, reduction in liabilities to paying off the liabilities, may result in expenses like rent, salary, interest, may result in acquisition of plant, machinery, property, buildings. So, every payment is not an expense. Every income, every receipt is not an income. And we know that receipts minus payment is 
cash in hand is cash in hand and income minus expenses is a profit is profit since all receipts are not incomes all payments are not expenses generally profit is not equal to cash since every payment is not an expense since every receipt is not an income the cash in hand is generally not equal to the profit made during the period change in the cash in hand may be due to the change in capital change in liabilities change in incomes or change in assets whereas the profit is due to incomes and expenses only so the receipts and payment and income and expenses are the two some of the important financial items and which have an interesting and useful relationship it is necessary to understand the relationship between incomes and receipts payments and expenses.